Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Web Paint tool with your Google Slides in presentation mode um, for better online learning. Let's get started. So the first thing you just want to make sure that you download the Web Paint extension, which I have done, and then it will show up as a little paintbrush up here in your toolbar. After you do that, then you're ready to get started. So let's go to one of our slides. Okay, so we're going to open up one of our slides and this is in the edit mode. I want to present to my students. So I'm going to go up here to the browser and you're going to delete everything after the word edit. Okay, so delete that and you're going to replace it with the word present. If you go over here and click the present button, you will not be able to use the web paint. So this is the, your little workaround. Okay, now you are ready to go up here, click your web paint tool, and here are all your tools. You can move this toolbar around if you need to get it out of your way, but let's just look at a few of the tools. So I can use my pencil tool to go over here and edit with my students. They can see everything I am doing if I'm sharing this or presenting this on a Google Meet. I can write in here that we've been in school for 100 days. Um, you can use the text tool to type as well. You can resize your text or your handwriting over here. You can also make your um, color more transparent. Also have some shapes that you can insert on here. So if I pick that shape, now I can make a box. Tools that are really helpful or that are good to know is this camera right here. If I take a picture, I click the camera, it takes a picture. Now we're on the picture page. What's really great about this is if you do something with your students on your Google slide and you wanna share it to their journal in Seesaw or you wanna share it to their Google Classroom page so they have it to refer back to, then what I can do is I can either download the whole page, I can even crop this. So if I want to come down here and crop just this part we did together, I can crop like that and now I can download that and share it, download, and now I'm ready to share that to my student journal and they can look at what we did together. The last tools that you're going to need are you have your undo button. You can undo anything that you have written on that page one at a time. You can also sweep the entire page clean. So after you write all over this page, if you want the whole page clean, you can sweep it away. And then you can also get rid of the toolbar with this little quit um, icon right here. And then you're ready to go to your next page and any page that you would like to write on, just go ahead and open up your paint tool again and you're ready to go.